Excellencies, distinguished ministers, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, the power of the Millennium Development Goals lies in their promise of a better world. Our shared responsibility as guardians of the goal is to fulfill this promise by meeting the expectations which they have raised of a world more free of poverty, hunger and disease, and of people empowered by education, enjoying equality and a better quality of life. We are in a race against time with just three years left to achieve the goals. The Asia-Pacific region has made great progress towards achieving the MDGs, especially in reducing poverty over the past decade. But major gaps still remain across goals, across sub-regions, and especially within countries. In fact, many of our people, even in the same country, live in different worlds. These disparities are particularly sharp in the health and nutrition related goals, especially for women. This is a key focus of the report we are launching today. The good news though, is that our analysis shows many of these goals can still be reached with a redoubling of effort in the remaining time until 2015. Our goal of reducing child malnutrition, for instance, we need less than 2% annual improvement in all 14 off-track countries to meet the goals. Another clear implication of the report is that development gaps can be closed by reducing inequalities. Those countries which have lower levels of disparity are also those most likely to be on track. The report also highlights successes. Bangladesh, for instance, has shown how low-cost measures like child vaccination and school feeding programs can make a massive impact. India's success in completely eradicating polio shows that challenges are surmountable. My message today, therefore, is that we are so close to the finishing line. It is time for a big final push to 2015 on the Millennium Development Goals. Let us together keep the promise of a better world and make it a reality. I thank you.